This is the 1998 Gillick project. I purchased this bus from a schoolie member and I'm gonna convert this thing, work on it, get it ready to Airbnb. But I figured I'd show you guys something. It's got a electrical system. It's a bit of a mess, obviously, someone who didn't really know what they were doing. And one of the common issues is having hot skin, which I did some testing to find out what the issue was. Uh, but this is really common, so let's take a look. Uh, this is typical lead acid batteries. They should not be in here because they off gas, they vent. It's a bit toxic. And you've got an auto transfer switch. Not a fan of doing it that way. A battery charger. All these are multiple items that could be all accomplished with one inverter charger. In this case, you, this is the, the AC side. So that's a line on the top, a neutral um, in, in the middle. And then you have ground on the bottom. Well, they completely did not wire in the ground, which ironically is going to, um, well, I'll show you. Now, a proper system is going to have the ground and neutrals isolated. So doing it this way, that's that's the uh, ground and neutrals. They're on the same bar. That causes the bus to actually be electrified when it's powered on. Now, because they skipped a step back here and didn't even connect the ground, which is also going to chassis throughout everything, it's not happening right now. So you can take a device like this. This is a uh, non-contact voltage meter, and I can I can pop in here and and see uh, what's electrified, what's what's powered on essentially which uh, seems to be, yeah, so, right, all these circuits there, it shows what's on, what's not, right? Okay, so, uh, at this point, this is, I think, part of the shell, but we're going to go outside. Right now, all the power is going through the inverter, right? But through that transfer switch right there, something very interesting happens when we hook up the shore. So this is a shell. You can walk around with one of these guys and actually see what's going on. Because when this issue occurs, basically, any time, I'm plugging in shore power now. Basically, any time shore's plugged in, watch this. It takes a second for the auto transfer switch. And now the entire, like, don't even have to get close. The entire shell is electrified on this thing. Now, the previous owner said she did not have problems. She did never got shocked. But that is hot skin. And the way we're going to resolve this is by separating the grounds and neutrals right at the distribution panel. This is super common. In fact, this is the way, combining those... That's how you do it on a house with residential for just the main box. If you have sub panels, you would have them uh, isolated, but this is how it's done in residential. And so oftentimes, this is how electricians, are, and by oftentimes, I mean 90% plus, residential electricians will wire your panel like this because they just don't have any consideration for DC power and, and mobile and what it takes to do this safely and properly. So the resolution, we're gonna drop this bar in right here and isolate the neutrals in the grounds. Okay, I put the ground bar in there. Still a bit of a mess, but now you're neutral in your ground. They're isolated as it should be. I don't exactly know how this was grounded to the chassis or where, but seemingly it was. So assuming I got that correct, I guess I'll go ahead and turn this on, probably doesn't matter, but assuming I got that correct, this issue should be reconciled. All right, so. Nothing's going on, nothing's going on. That's through the inverter. And then once we plug this in, that's when the issue was was coming to light. Now, had that inverter be wired had that inverter been wired properly with a ground um, also, then this issue would have occurred anytime the inverter was on or the shore power. So now shore's power's on. We'll see if we get anything from it. Sometimes when you bump it, it beeps. So it's basically anywhere on the chassis with metal. Now in this case, it's like the whole shell. Sometimes paint will cover it up, but if you remember before I was out this far and it was 
going crazy. So that's it. That's how you resolve this problem.